Once the wheels are raised, the armoured car can proceed on the caterpillar tracks, ready to take all obstacles in its stride. We're in Germany, in a pelt farm, where fur coats are grown in the form of raccoons. Zoologists tell us that the raccoon is a thickly built animal about the size of a badger, with a coat of long greyish-brown hair. Ladies tell us that several raccoons make one lovely warm fur coat, and that's all that matters. Actually, our little friends, in their natural state, live in America, but on this European farm they have been bred and reared for the sole purpose of providing winter wear for owners of large bank balances. Normally, raccoons are nocturnal in habits. They stay up all night. But the daytime seems to suit them just as well on this farm, especially when eats are about. They're attractive little devils, whether on the roof or around milady's neck. What next? Why, an anti-splash device for wet roads and dry pedestrians. How long have you walked along with dignified mien? and suddenly a passing vehicle has sprinkled your white spats and shiny topper with undiluted mud. Well, this device will stop all that, and you'll be able to stroll along with absolute impunity. What are the children coming to? These American youngsters show that they can spin ropes as well as father can spin yarns, and the little rough rider is as much at home on a horse as she was in a cradle only four years ago. A thousand years ago, the Viking adventurers landed on the grim shores of the Faroe Islands. Today, Thorshaven, the chief town of Stromo Island, is a quaint but quite modern township on the water's edge. The people, however, though up to date in thought, are traditional in their clothes. The mass-produced article is unknown amongst these home-woven dresses. Faroe girls are generally blonde and full of giggles. On fete days, the men don their old-time costumes, young and old alike. A typical descendant of the old Vikings. Strange to relate, dancing is a man's business in this dual land. This appears to be a northern form of ring of roses, but they are all too sober to all fall down. Well, since we're up north, we'll go 250 miles farther on, to Iceland where great glaciers lie close by turbulent volcanic springs and jagged hillsides. Expeditions are constantly investigating the virulent eruptions. Dangerous work because of the great fissures of the glaciers that sometimes reach a depth of 300 feet. Periodically, the mountain snows melt, but never ceasingly, the earth hisses and boils.